to this week's Toyota one on one. We are joined by Lakin the Jamaican Tomlinson because that's, yep. that's the IG name. So yeah, we're going to call you by yeah, your rightful man. name. <laughs> but welcome to our tailgate. And obviously when you have a tailgate, you got the food, you got the games, you got the drinks. But I want to know who is Lakin Tomlinson bringing to the tailgate? Who's coming along with you? Who's coming to the tailgate? Oh, man. Hmm. I bring, I got to say my best friend, Spencer, Spencer okay. Rogers. Okay. Uh, man, like, I think we've had this conversation ever since. Like, I've ne obviously never been to a tailgate myself, but he's been, he's been my best buddy okay. since college. And we always had that thought, like, what do people do in, ta in tailgates? For us, it's like in the, it's like Wonderland. You, yeah. know, you, never, you never get to experience it. Right. So I think I'll bring him because I want to experience it with him. So what food is Lakin bringing to the tailgate? Ooh, Lakin the Jamaican? Yep. Ah, I gotta bring the, the Jamaican special jerk chicken, man. There it goes. You know I'm putting it on the grill, too. Who do you say, in this O-line group, who's probably the messiest? The messiest? The messiest of the group. See, some people would say me, but in actuality... Oh, it's not you? It's not me. Okay. Yeah, I, it's Trent. Trent's the messiest? Trent's the messiest. Really? I don't even think he's the messiest in the O-line, too. I think he's the messiest on the team. <laughs> <laughs> Trent, do better, do better. You gotta do better, man, come yeah, on. Yeah, come on, all right, all right. I feel so bad for his locker mates. Okay, <laughs> who would you say on the O-line is the best singer? I think I got two, I got two for you. Okay. I'm gonna say Mike McGlinchey mm, because I've heard him sing Okay. and he's really good. Okay. But I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw a good one out there for you right now, Jalen Moore. Jalen I think Moore. he I think he's a surprise. I think he's gonna be a surprise to everybody too. Have you heard him maybe like humming a tune and you're like, okay, yeah, you might I, be a yeah, little I, musically I, I, inclined. I picked up on a little something, something. Yeah. So I, I was gonna I'm, I'm gonna see if he can really sing. Okay. We're gonna get the rookies to sing one time. That's it. We're gonna have to get the rookies <laughs> to sing. If you were stuck in a rut and you needed a teammate to come pick you up in this Toyota, what teammate could you count on to come get you? I wanna say Trent. Trent? Trent will come get me. Reliable? Yeah. If I call him, he call me back. Let's put you to the test. Call Trent Williams. Let's see if he answers the phone. See if he's going to be one of the reliable ones. Yeah? Uh, yeah, let's All see. Right, I'm calling right now. Hold on. Come on, Trent. Don't do me like that. Come on, Trent. Come on, we got to get me, man. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. voicemail. It's okay. It's okay, you said he was gonna call. You gonna call me back. He's gonna call back. He's gonna call, He'll me call back. back. We're not worried. We're not worried about that. So who else do you have? Who else will answer the phone? I think Colton. Colton. Colton McKivitz? Yeah, Colton McKivitz will pick up for sure. Better pick up. Come too. on, Colton. Oh. Don't let us down. Come on, Colton. I know he's gonna pick up. He's gonna Come pick on. up for sure. Come on. Come on, man. There you go. What's up, buddy? You gonna pick me up? Why? <laughs> why? why? My car broke down, bro. You're on all your electric. Nah, I'm joking, man. Your car hey, I'm on, I'm on the air right now, man. Check well, it out. Hi, Colton. <laughs> Thanks for picking up. Uh, <laughs> hey, I already, I always knew I could counter you, my dog. <laughs> hey, what? Hey, bro, look who's calling me back. Oh. <laughs> go ahead, yeah, Colton. We'll call you back. back. I'll call you back. This is gonna happen. Here we go. Bro. Why are you camera little? <laughs> <laughs> it's in portrait mode. <laughs> you're on the air, bro. I was calling you to see if you'd call me back. And I knew you would call me back, reliable. too. Reliable. I knew Late. you would. Late and probably messy, but reliable. <laughs> Come on, flip man. Around. Tell him to flip him around. You pass the test. You say, what's up, Trent? Hey, what's up, y'all? <laughs> 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 Good job. Appreciate you, homie. Right, bro. Take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you say is the most mellow on the O-line? Who's mellow? the most chill? Uh, I'd say Dan Brunskill. Dan. He's a pretty chill dude. Um, who would you say is the most jacked on game days? The Who's the hypest on hypest game Hypest on day? game day? I want to say it's a tough one, but it's not really a tough one. I'm a pretty hype dude on game mm -hmm. day, yeah. actually. Yeah. Um, man, <laughs> it's just like, I don't know what it is. Hey, watch out for Lake. You gonna hurt your arm. I'm just never. I'm never really like that. Um, like around my teammates, mm -hmm. I'm just. I'm not really like a. I don't really like to talk a lot, especially like when I'm here. But like on game day, it's just something. 
different about game day that's once I put that helmet on I'm just, yeah I'm I'm ready to go and I'm even getting hyped up talking about it right now I'm here on the field <laughs> I'm, I'm getting hyped up talking about it right now but it's just it's different on game day for me yeah. like you putting everything on the line on game day and you know you work we work so hard during the week and what's what's not to be excited about all right well I, I heard a story from a birdie and I want you to kind of fill us in a little bit but there's a story with your mother and the number 75 this season. And she had some questions about this number. So can you fill us in on this story? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so like, it was random. Like, I think it was some sometime in the off season and my mom would call me like in a frenzy out of nowhere. She's like, Lakin, 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 Lakin. Uh, you're, you're on the website, you're on the website. I'm like, mom, what are you talking about? And she's like, you're on, you're on the 49ers website, it's, it's 75. I'm like, mom, that's not me, that's, that's the anniversary year. <laughs> she's like, what, what do you mean? It's like, it's the 75th anniversary of the team. And she's like, that's not, that's not your number? I'm like, it is my number, but that's just, it's not why they have it on the website. You know, it, it, it is cool, you know. Yeah, it's cool. It's, it's cool. really cool. You know, 75 yeah. on the 75, it's on the jersey. Exactly. But I would have to tell mom, like, mom, don't don't panic. It's, you know, it's yeah. anniversary, you had to let her know. Mom was hyped. She was she like, was, look, was, at, she look was at my baby hyped. getting all this love. You know, she got me worried, too. She <laughs> called me, she was in the French. She was like, Lincoln, Lincoln, Lincoln. I'm like, Mom, what's going on? I mean, all she's been hanging out. I'm like, oh my god, you know. But she, but I had to let her know. I was like, hey, it's hey, it's 75, 75th anniversary yeah. of the team, and you know, she got. She was like, oh, okay. Yeah, so exactly. But she, it's cool. We, it, it just listen. goes to show she is very observant. Exactly. <laughs> Mama's on uh, 49ers.com. We mm -hmm. appreciate that. All right, so 75th anniversary, and we're celebrating Lake and Tomlinson. And as we do that <laughs> here in our tailgate, I want to know a little bit about a recipe because obviously at a tailgate, you got to have good food. So I want you to put together the perfect recipe for me. What is the perfect recipe of juggling football and father time? Football and father time. Shout out uh, to Baby Tay. Shout out to Baby Tay. I love you. <laughs> uh, football and father time. It's it's awesome, and um, you know. I actually learned a lot from Joe Staley, played next to Joe Staley mm -hmm. uh, uh, a couple years ago when I first got here too. And um, I remember, you know, no matter after every game, I see Joe, we walk out together and I see Joe and his two daughters, they run up to him and give him a big hug. And that just, it made me feel, you know, some type of way because um, that's kind of how I envision myself, you know, in the future. And I um, was fortunate enough, you know, uh, my wife Rachel and I had a baby last May. And, um, you know, just this past game, uh, just ha having her out there, as soon as I walked out that front door, she said, Dada. And she ran up to me. <laughs> and, you know, I would just go back to myself three years ago talking to Joe. And that's just what I saw. And, you know, it's just kind of how I see myself now. It was just, it put, always puts a smile on your face yep. and you, you'll never have a bad day. Puts things into perspective, especially mm -hmm. when you have a little one. I love that. This guy right here, Lake and Thomas, let's go, thanks let's go. for joining our 49ers tailgate here. Uh, appreciate it. Course, Next time, you. don't forget that jerk chicken though, okay? Oh, I got it. <laughs>